So I came down to the beach this afternoon to study shorebirds, but this is what I ended up finding. The playful wind was blowing with such a forceful persistence that it was causing the sand particles to fall in these beautiful ripples across the beach. As magical as this was to witness, I had driven 30 minutes with the intent of sketching shorebirds. But no matter how far down the beach I looked, there wasn't a single shorebird in sight. I almost let myself feel defeated until the idea came to me that there were other ways to learn about the birds than simply observing them. You see, a few days ago, I had really gotten curious about what the Sanderlings, a cute little shorebird, was eating. I'd been watching a flock of them scurry down the shoreline, chasing the waves in and out and feeding rapidly as they did this with their bills plunging quickly into the sand like a Morse code operator, lifting up and repeating the process over and over again. So I decided that today, I'd see what it was like to be a Sanderling. So I stood with my toes just barely in the water and bent my body down, looking for something to eat. It only took a few minutes when I started to spot these little shapes emerging from under the sand. They'd stay visible for barely a second before shimmying themselves back into the safety of the darkness and quickly covered by the incoming tide. Ah, what were they? Could this be what the Sanderlings were eating? I had to find out. See if you can find them. See what I'm talking about? They're so quick. All right, let's try this again. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Are you starting to notice a pattern here? <laughs> After numerous failed attempts, I finally started to have some success. I was getting better at knowing where and when to look for them. This is really fun. Hang on, did you hear that? Wait, what? <gasps> they came! Aw, this is one of the coolest moments for me. I'd allowed myself to get thoroughly absorbed in the exploration of what the Sanderlings were eating, but I'd completely forgotten about the Sanderlings themselves. There was a moment when they first arrived that they were all around me and it felt like we were all looking for food together, like they were saying, hey look, there's Christy, she must have something really good over there, let's go check it out. Sanderlings aren't a shy bird, but I don't know that the entire flock would have come quite so close if I'd been super focused on them. Instead, I was absorbed in giving my attention to something else, and this can help them to feel less threatened. But regardless, it was a really special moment. There are all sorts of ways to learn about birds, so don't be afraid to think outside the box or immerse yourself in something that captures your attention once in a while. You never know what kind of magic awaits. <laughs>